Look, it's going to be a very big challenge for Kim. I mean, the people on Biggest Loser, what they've got to lose, say, 40 mm. or 50 kilograms. Kim, I mean, he's got so much dead weight on his front bench just to lose that alone. <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a diet. And poor old Beasley, I mean, he's not faring any better in the polls, is he? Mm. I mean, in the last 27 mm. polls for preferred Prime Minister, he's come last in 27, 27 of them. Right, yeah. More people vote don't know than Kim. <laughs> yeah, look, I reckon the main reason Kim loses those polls is because of the way the questions are asked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you ask the questions just a little bit differently, I'm sure Kim would get a very different result. John Howard always beats Kim Beasley in the preferred Prime Minister poll. Yeah. So we're trying to design a poll that Kim can actually win. <laughs> so, um, out of uh, Kim Beasley and Steve Visard, yeah. who would you prefer as Prime Steve Minister? Steve Visard. Oh, I wouldn't trust Steve Visard if I was I could throw him. And OK, and you couldn't throw Kim very far at all. <laughs> Kim Beasley and David Hicks, who do you think would make a better Prime Minister? I'd definitely go David Hicks there. Why is that? Well, I mean, uh, he's, he's at least stood up to the Howard government on one occasion. Yeah, and John Howard seems to be genuinely afraid of him. True. Not letting him back into the country in a way that he's just never been genuinely okay. afraid of him. All right, so that's bad news for Kim on that one. Between Kim Beasley and Ivan Milat, who would you say would be a better Prime Minister? I think Ivan Milat would be great, don't you? Right, OK, he'd certainly be strong. Why do you think Ivan, you know, what do you think Ivan would bring to the job? Well, he'd... Other than, obviously, a string of criminal convictions. Decrease the population, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah certainly <laughs> population control. He'd be pretty tough on immigration. He would, wouldn't he? Yeah, yes. yeah. Between Kim Beasley and Adolf Hitler, who would make him better Prime Minister? Oh, definitely Kim. Adolf's dead. True, OK. Is that, is that, is that the main reason that you just didn't Prime Minister? Probably. Between Kim Beasley and a plank of wood, <laughs> who would you say would make the better Prime Minister? Plank of wood. So, uh, the plank, more useful. Right, OK. Yeah, probably, uh handles being walked all over better than Kim does. Oh, well, Kim does have a lot of experience in that area. Yeah. Choice between uh, Kim Beasley and a steaming turd. <laughs> Who would you choose as the preferred Prime Minister of Australia? That one. Right, OK. Why, why is that? Well, I don't think a lot of Kim Beasley, to be quite honest. Sure, yes. sure. Yes. Well, a lot of people say that they're more option. or less filled with the same thing. And they are. They yeah. are. No, I'd have to actually go the turd there. Really? Yeah, I think why so. Why is that? Well, I don't know. Just at least you know where it's coming from. <laughs> <laughs>